Good morning, friends. Hello. It is another Sunday fun day, and we're going to take to the forest today. But I wanted to turn the camera on and show you guys the smoke that is rolling into our local area. It's getting uh, a bit thick out there as we're rounding this bend. You can see the mountains in the distance are quite clouded over with smoke. But Pops and I are going to gas up the vehicle and head for the forest and we are going to check the gifting station and um, see what we've got going on. Okay hey guys, we have made it to the beautiful Lake Ellen. We're gonna get the binoculars out because Pops and I had sat here one day. Fishing and looking. And up there, we might, we might need to go down just a smidge. We're gonna get those binoculars back out, take a look up there, but there was a, a curious shadow type figure up there. We're going to see if it's still there. But let me give you a quick peek at this, just because I can. The area well known for howls, wood knocks, rock throws. Activity. We're in the heart of it, you guys, and soon we're going to go to the forest to that gifting station, so hang with us. There's so much over there. I mean, every nook and cranny and crevice. Yeah, and I keep forgetting to put my uh, spotting scope in. I think that might be a little more steady and yeah and, oh man so i can't we got to keep improving that. our game steady too bad we can't just hop the hop the pond and get over there and traverse that that I mean, not like I would be traversing it, but... Yeah, it would be a difficult hike and climb. Interesting. Nooks and crannies is all I'm saying. Yeah. It's like a little stair step. But where people fished here and had rocks come down is from up there. And I can see rock faces rock slides <laughs> I can't see anything I took my glasses oh. <laughs> off <laughs> and I don't that would be so hard to get on the top of this ridge yeah I mean for someone to just be up there throwing rocks down here at people fishing on the side of the road and rocks getting into the water yeah how likely is that what's the likelihood <sighs> not not very high. I mean, by the time you get up high enough to throw a rock down, then you got to throw the rock out a hundred feet or two hundred feet. And I don't know how you would do that. It's a great day despite the smoke. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do I, this. I can, I keep smelling it. It's, yeah. it's more it's, prevalent. It's thick. It's gotten thicker. Yeah, all right. You want to give this a view? Sure. Hey, guys. You know what's hot when you open your chapstick? And it looks like this. What is our temperature? Uh, 103 currently. 103, you guys. And we're out here going to do it. So, I think it's been, oh, hello. <laughs> I think it's 
been two weeks. Real close to two weeks since again. Since you and Adam were up here and checked the gifting station for the first time. Yeah, and that was at two weeks. And so, so we're now a month in on the gifting station. Yeah. And like I had said before, I'm just trying to keep it pretty close to two weeks. I don't want to, if something's in this area, I don't want to over pressure it. I don't know if that's the right attitude or not, but that's what I'm thinking. Well, that's just our approach. Yeah. It's a personal opinion. Because we see opinion. other, yeah, we're seeing other videos where people are doing it like every morning. And, and, and you know, is there a right or wrong? Yeah. <laughs> not really. No. Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe once a week would be better, but so far I'm doing every other, because if these things are up here, it's their home, I don't want to overpressure their home. Yeah. Yep. Okay, guys, we are near the gifting station. And I just want to give a little view. The birds are singing. Very little breeze. Well, I say that and now I, I look back at the tree and I guess there is a bit of breeze. Just slightly. <laughs> Don't step on a small twig or it'll roll your ankle. Yeah. Anybody else find that a little bit curious?
Just taking note of that. Going on here. Pops, you're missing it. No. I'm just thinking snow loads. Just because these, like over here, there's three, which could have been a heavy snow load cascading down. your eyes open. We're entering the gifting station. Oh, okay. Chalkboard is down. Thumbtacked. Thumbtacked hand on a chalkboard is off. The abalone. Why does it feel more exposed? Is off. I'm going to give a quick view and then we're going to check that out. Blue chalk is on the ground. Okay, hold on. I just want to make sure. Let's move in on it. Let's see what we got, you guys. Wow. So, we know the cows are in here. Yes. Heavily. We ran through cow poo. Um, but this is what we've got. Piece of chalk over here. What distance is that? And, uh, um feet. It's got maybe a squirrel or something was trying to chew on it. Looks yeah, chewed on. Yeah, we've got nod marks. Yeah, maybe that was chewed okay. on. Here. Smudges. <laughs> that used to be on the table. Okay, so we should note that we didn't have any rain showers in the last two weeks. It is kind of smudged, like an animal could have smudged that Touched up. Touched it, smudged it. The, um, the gifting bowl and the crystal are off so, of the stump. Okay, and so I've got dead leaves. So there's drying out leaves in there. I don't, who knows, but I mean, we got a couple 
more dried leaves. Rocks Let's are see. moved. <laughs> here's the here's where the um, thumb thumb thing is. I don't want to move anything yet. The other um, thumbnail push pin is over there. We've got little leaves, rocks seemingly out of place. The flower is still here, you guys. Yeah, the flower is still here this that time. That remained. Um, you take some pictures. Yeah, I want some still. Before we start moving things. I want some still shots. I'm going to um, just kind of scope out the area. Sage is there. The bounce sheets are there. So, in my opinion, I'm going to say we had some sort of small critter or the cows were in here. Yeah. I that would be my Yeah, I my think, first feel. Yeah, that they were poking around, touching stuff, moving stuff. I'll be curious. I want to look closer at the chalk once we have it up if they look like nose smudges or if they look like finger smudges yeah so, okay so if you've already taken photos i think yep. we can start touching things Kay. i just wanted documentation as to well and we should look around the creek see if we see any um tracks or okay um let's also so someone brought up to our attention we weren't really paying attention to it yeah, at the time you, were... the horizontal tree that's there and we did look back at our earlier video so it's been there since the beginning i'm just wondering if the bud of it has sank since then so we might have to look at a old video just to see if it has moved but cows could have nudged it Seeing is cow tracks. Not seeing anything else. I want to check and see this far. So that is snapped off. Is yeah, it? where does it? Is there a... Oh, it's... It's up there. Yeah, the so one in the one middle. this looks natural? It looks like it really could be. Because there is a snapped off section way up there. So that could have been natural. Whew. Just... And keep your eyes open for that first flower that did go missing. Yeah, it's all like vine maple stuff. And Guys, I'm just turning this back on. The GoPro got too hot. It's probably gonna turn back off. We did a walk around the perimeter. 
we're not seeing anything unusual or out of the ordinary. Pops is going to get this reset and put back together. We'll get some still photos and um, we'll probably have to go let the GoPro cool down. It is 103 degrees and it's not liking it and it's draining our battery as well. Oh boy. Yeah. Anything you can... No, but I'm going to trade out our chalkboards. I want to look closer at this at home with a magnifying glass. Okay. I want to look closer at these smudges. Okay. Okay, what's your thought and theory on this? So, we know one flower went missing from the first time. So, I want to try a different, different flower to see if a flower ever comes back to the gifting station. Then I'll know, oh, that's the flower that disappeared the first time or the second time or third or fourth, fifth, whatever. So I want to use different flowers each time we check it from here on out. So if a flower ever comes back, we know that it's different. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, the mosquitoes are absolutely picking up on us and buzzing us right now. Pops and I didn't spray, so mm. that's always fun. Uh, but yeah, just trying to make the most of this battery and the, uh, you know, it not shutting the GoPro off. Just going to get this re-put together, guys. Yeah, they're finding us. Darn mosquitoes. Okay. Mm, this has some of it's got I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but it looks like either like maybe tongue licks or something. Wonder if I should trade that one out too. To look at it closer at home, I think I will. It's got smudges. Okay, he's getting tricky here. He's reversing the smiley faces. In the original chalkboard, we had blue and then pink. And we are now putting a pink in and front of the blue. Two smiley happy faces to represent the universal language of a smile. Be happy. Be happy. We come in peace. Hmm. Just checking to see if, if this had any scent to it, and it doesn't. Just in case. Okay, all the crystals are still there. Okay, guys, this is how it's shaping up. Okay, so let's... Yep. You know, we're in a, a rough season right now um, with the fires from all the surrounding areas bringing in heavy smoke, <laughs> heat wave, hot temperatures, and we're dealing with free range cattle in this area. But we know that in the near vicinity, we have Bigfoot territory tree marker signage or what looks to be that mm -hmm. so um we're just gonna go ahead and and re we're just gonna stick with it for a while and yeah. just see see what happens so new bounce sheet <laughs> just to signal that we were here since we're not coming very often i just want something that says that something's fresh I that, can smell it. It that, is definitely fresh. That we were here. 
I just got a breeze of it. Okay. Because there's a big difference between two weeks and fresh. Yes. Nice. Okay, my forest friends, this one's for you. Yes, it was. It's been a few minutes since I played the drum. We haven't heard anything. Animals are still buzzing about. I heard a cow in the distance. Oh, I'm hearing his little Tweety birds. Yeah. All right, guys, we gotta get this GoPro cool down. And uh, hopefully the next battery will last uh, as we go to check out a spot overhead jet. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go check out a spot, traipse into the forest a little bit more and see if we can get back to that area that had me so curious. Uh, Let's hope that the uh, GoPro lasts. I just kind of want this, you guys, to uh, <laughs> see if there's anything going on behind us as we're walking out. Yeah, some people would say, watch our six. Yeah. I know. Sorry. We're going to have to hydrate. Yes. <laughs> when we get back to the Jeep. First order of business will be hydrating, cooling the camera, and getting a new battery in here. Guys, I just can't walk into the forest the same way as I used to without seeing signs everywhere. Like. So, I'll just say, for me, we have a lot of vine maples around right, us right now. And I know those are going to snap more in snow load or wind. So I think for me, I'm looking more at the 
the evergreens I'd like to when know. the evergreens are snapped. What's going on here though? You got a Y that goes up through there. Once again, fine maple though. Yeah. And it just snaps easier with a snow load. So that's my theory. Sure, they could use them, but to me, snow is going to snap vine maples a lot easier than an evergreen. <laughs> I just spun you all just right around. Making people dizzy. Yeah. Ooh, watch that one. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, guys, this might be a good time to tell you that we have an upcoming, in the near future, camp out in another area of the woods, another well-known Bigfoot area. So if you're enjoying these uh, Bigfoot videos, you'll want to stay tuned. Like, hit the thumbs up. <laughs> and help us grow and um, subscribe, follow. It is free to watch our shenanigans. And um, you don't have to get outside in 103 temperature. <laughs> you can sit <laughs> with snacks, a cool beverage, some AC, and watch us from your device. How come they get to do that? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright guys, we're just about back to our Jeep. Good old strawberry lemonade. The Jeep that has a two-year story. That is not a story for today. Nope, we're, we're doing good lately. <laughs> Alright, we will get this geared up and we will meet you at our next destination. Okay, guys, not sponsored, but staying hydrated with Ultima Electrolytes. Take that baby, stick it in a bottle of water. Pops and I are going to have a little snack, refuel, and re-go. Okay guys, we drove a, a little bit <laughs> and um, we're out checking out another heavily forested area. Cows are definitely frequenting in here, but just keeping our eyes posted for more signage, tree markers, anything curious. And I gotta tell you, this looks normal. This looks like a normal forested area where things fall, happenstance, wind, weather. Um, huh. Um, <laughs> that looks like it was cut. Very recent. That's a fresh cut. So things like that we can account for. But the structures that we showed you in the last couple of videos, the tree markers, those are curious. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna see much back here. It mm. is Okay, but hold on. You're saying that. These are fresh cuts, but this is either pushed over by snow or a, per or a thing. Okay. Look at this. That's a snap. Oh, snap. So, right here, 
was a congested spot to block this road. And maybe the ranchers that run the cows cut it open. It's for the cows and them to get through with horses. But there's two there. I don't know where this one comes from. Unless they, maybe they threw it in there. How many of you think Pops looks good with my pink backpack? Thumbs up. <laughs> ah, thanks for carrying the load. You're my welcome. neck just can't handle it, you guys. Yeah. Too many injuries. Okay, well, maybe we'll go so, just a little bit further then. And um we definitely open this up though with our little hand saw or some kind of saw. Okay, yeah. So this used to be a path that that I think we could take the Jeep. And on the map it is. They um they someone dug, Yeah, the has, maybe the Forest Service or whatever, but they dug those swells. Yeah. So that you don't you can't drive through them. So I kind of want to see the other side of this to see if I come up from the other side, how far can I get with the Jeep before I hit the swell on what, this side. What's going on here? So, that comes down. Maybe, maybe not. That's more of those vine maple looking things that I just don't like. This one is snapped. Hmm. So it does kind of look like maybe something was blocking this trail, this road. Is it coming to a dead end? Well, I just want to see if I drive up the other way, where would I make it to with the Jeep? You know, it's pretty quiet in here. Now that you say that, there aren't any squirrels or birds chirping. Why not? Could be a cow. Even at the gifting station, we were hearing little birds tw yeah. tweet and stuff. All right, go a little bit further. Yes, we're not hearing nothing. This is still. I think the camera's getting hot. Yeah. Can't see. Well, the cows sure make it back here. Yeah, that's all fresh. Oh, I'll fresh, say. Fresh earth. <laughs> I'm going to dodge those. Well, what's on this bend? And then let's turn around because yeah, I want to have some battery left to share that one curious spot. Yeah, there's still another swell. Huh. So, for whatever reason, Coyote poop, probably. Okay, so. It's big rock formation back there. Yeah, you got quite the rock knoll there. Rock back there. We're on a rock knoll. Okay. Well, a it couple of curious things were just super quiet back here. Super quiet. Like what happened to the birds? There's nothing. Let's take note of that, you guys. Looking at the rocks. Oh. 
Let the pink tags mark the two cow pies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd say we're on a good cow path, if nothing else. But we're not seeing the teepees, the bends. No, none at all. Um, we're not seeing the jungle gym back here. It just looks like a regular Yeah, just natural. Yeah, this this could all just be snowfall and rainfall. Okay guys, I'm gonna turn you off till we've got more to see. Ah, the culprits to traipse and around up here. Pops and I are winding down. I think this heat has us a little uh, whatnot, but we're Hot gonna go into this last spot that I was super curious about last time and uh, just couldn't get up out there. So we're gonna hike into that little spot and uh, see if there's anything worth seeing. So I know from last time that the GoPro did not pick this up. Uh, we're going to try and go in from this angle and see if there's anything worth seeing. And we did spray up our uh, ticks and mosquitoes climbing into the thick of it back here. Thick enough, I don't know a good way in. Okay. So, uh, something like this. I can see the root was kind of on the end, but this one is going horizontal. The root wad area is six feet off the ground. know if that's on purpose or not. Get in here. Oh. What? <laughs> oh! Right in the face. Taking one for the team. Coming down. Guys, this is what I was seeing from the road that the GoPro couldn't pick up. I still don't know if it's anything to get excited about, but I am feeling a little bit excited. What we got, we got a lot of dead trees right here, like maybe pine beetle. So it's hard to know that this might be natural. Okay. But I am seeing some stuff. So it's just a little seeing, bit of crisscross. A little bit crisscross. I, just so much of this is dead. And can be pushed over. Wow. So 
Okay, we're not in a very safe area if trees are falling like that. That's a wild rose. Yeah, well, oh, a thorn. We Ouch. We, we are in some wild roses. Mm. That's a wild mess right there. That's a so mess. All these, the roots. The root areas are still touching the ground. So I'm leaning towards natural just because they haven't been moved. We got a bow up there. have not been moved. I mean, they could have been pushed into a pattern, but they have not been moved to be put into a pattern. Okay, what's going on right back there? Could have been pushed that way. But same thing, they have not been moved. Wow. It's just so thick where some of this is. Yeah. Truly. I thought I was going to come in around behind that, but I didn't work. Let's get a let's get a different visual on this entangled mess. Ooh. Oh, right into those thorns. Yeah. Right yeah. into it. I don't even. Sorry guys, I don't even know where the camera's at. <laughs> it was in your hand. <laughs> oh, what is, well, I mean, this is a shift show back here. Yeah, but there's so much dead. I think there's a good chance that this is all okay. snowfall and, or snow load and windfall. That's just my good example, you guys, that natural shit does happen. Does happen and but as much is dead in here. That, yeah, but every nothing was moved. And in a lot of the examples we've seen, they're placed there. None of this is placed. It may have been pushed over. It's a possibility. But it has not been moved to be placed. There's, there's this one. Just so layered. It's like Jenga. It is like Jenga. 
<laughs> well, guys, my curiosity has now been satisfied, I guess, because we hiked back here and, and got to get a look at that, what I was seeing a couple videos back. They could and have been. I was super curious about. Yep. Boy, all of this is. But it's is, all uh, so rotted. weak. So I think a lot of this. Those are going to be big rose hips. Rose hips. How do we get out of here? I am not sure. <laughs> Probably the hard way. <laughs> I think I, we got to go. We were go. over by the one that's in the air when we came in. That's the only one that's up in the air versus all these others. You think I could move through here? Yes. To the left or? Well, um... I think we came in through that way. Yeah. But this is the only one that's oh. up out of the, off of the, up off the ground. But if the forces were good enough and it cantilevered, I'm just trying to see. Okay. I see a spot in the ground where it came out. Okay. So when it blew over, it could have cantilevered up into the air. I mean, hey. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to get back here and find something epic. It and looked like there was a decent chance, but it's just for some reason this one spot, whether it was pine beetles or whatever. It's full of deadfall. It's full of deadfall, so I don't think it's a, a great example. Well, it's a great example of deadfall versus perhaps yes, something, cryptid yeah, produced. That, that it is. So, you know, guys, it's hot. It's hot. And I think we're going to call it a day. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Leave us a happy comment and a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see you guys in the next adventure. Stay tuned and uh, we're going to go get hydrated. Well, Pops just took it down. Uh, I don't think that's too deep. i to wash it out, though. When you're out here, you guys, it's a jungle. And uh, we're hot. We're hot. And we're traversing this. It's not comfortable. And uh, when it's no longer fun, you know it's time to go home. Yeah. And uh, get cooled off. It's stinging pretty good, but it's oh. not its not deep, but it's stinging pretty good. And uh, my eyes are on fire. I think it's the uh, combination of the heat and the sweat and the salts and, good Lord, maybe even the, the chemical spray we put on us of uh, DEET. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, we found our way out. We'll catch you guys on the next go around. All right, friends. So these are the two items that we brought home. The chalkboard I replaced with a new one. And the picture of a hand using chalk I replaced with a new one. I can't find what I would call fingerprints on any of this. But there are smudges this could have been licked by a cow looks like there's some chalk so if a cow licked that it deposited some chalk on this like maybe it kind of bit onto it and pulled it off the stump possibility i was hoping to look for to find like if i could see like a fingerprint in any like a drag mark like checking this out the only thing I see is like a chipmunk or a squirrel footprint in it. Um, the rest could have been done with like a tongue, possibly. 
looks like there was drags with like ridges and you know animals drink with their tongues and they have ridges if this was handled or smeared by it sasquatch i i have no proof of that um so we're gonna say it's undetermined but what we also found interesting the way this was sitting upright leaning against the stump right below where on the stump it had been sideways so for this to fall off the stump and end up upright seems odd just saying seems odd um the abalone shell that I had on the stump as a gifting bowl was still upright a couple feet from the stump with the edge of the crystal with the abalone over the edge of the crystal. So if that got flipped off the stump, that also seems weird. So definitely inconclusive of any proof but we just wanted to show this more up close and just have a little talk about it. So leave us uh, a comment. What are your thoughts on what you see of what I had left two weeks ago and what we found today? So thank you guys.